We've had years that have been good and bad throughout the course of my, you know, my fishing career. The last three years, I've never seen so many. So we had this perfect uh, storm of good price and a, a great abundance of, of eels that have come to the shore. So we've been really lucky. And even though my efforts went way up, I ne I've never seen the amount of eels on the shores that I have over the last three years. I have seen the Elvers quadruple, I can't even say it. I, I, I seen Elvers this year that were literally biblical. Something out of the science fiction movies to help me God. My other half had a net set. In two hours, a bag this big, solid, full. There were so many eels, 15 foot wings on that net, and it's eight feet deep. There were so many eels in front of it with nowhere to go until the tide got over it and then they went around it that they made a vortex. If he could have got to the net and dumped it, he probably could have caught 400 pounds. But, you know, he's only allowed to have so many. And I've talked to people all over the state because I'm the secretary for the Maine Elver Fishermen's Association and I've gotten reports after report after report of people telling me, oh my God, they went down and looked and there are elvers everywhere. There were so many elvers that have run all of June and I don't know what's going on in July, but I know all of June on the big tides, you know, there were people saying that they were just masses of them. Now, when they found out I had 20 years experience in fishing, 20 years in management, 20 years in packing and shipping these things, I was invited to come down to Jamaica. I spent four months down there last year. When I can put a net in, in Jamaica where I've never fished before in my life, and in three nights catch 40 pounds of eels, there's not a problem with the population. Uh, early in the 90s and through the mid 90s, that we didn't get anywhere as near what we can get now. Something is going on. There, there are more eels coming to our shore, so what does that mean? And there are more mature eels going out to the to spawn. I don't know. I mean, one would one would think that, but you know, mm -hmm. I'm sure there's a lot of mitigating factors. I think the elver run is doing super. I, I've definitely seen an increase in that. Mm -hmm. uh, the last two years has been phenomenal, mm -hmm. and I think it has all to do with what we've done back in '99. We've, we've made a 75% cut uh, in the gear, 75% cut in the fishermen, 50% mm -hmm. cut in the season. And that allows you know a lot more eels to go up the brook. Mm -hmm. um, we let them go two days a week. That was you know we did that back in '99. We used to be able to fish seven days a week, but we'd only fish a, fish a third of the brook. A lot of the guys will start out in a small brook and they'll pull a net and go to the big river because there's more eels. Okay. And you know let these little brooks run. I think the Maine has done a super job regulating this elvis industry. Maine has opened up thousands of acres of watershed to the eels again by taking out the Penobscot dams. There's still one left that needs to be taken out, but the state of Maine has bent over backwards to save this, and it benefited the state of Maine, because in 2012, you know, the revenue just for the fishermen was a $40 million revenue. 